Welcome to Hustler here, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about a little quick story on how I recently bought a stolen bike. What's going on, guys and gals? Chris here with the Bonafide Hustler channel, and we're sitting in my gym, and I'm trying to get to a quiet place in my house, so I can tell you really quickly about this story on how I landed a stolen bike um, on Facebook Marketplace. Now, everything happens so fast bit of a cautionary video a bit of like a learning kind of thing and intuition is involved i had a hunch but i'll walk you through this thing here in this video so don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel what i do here is we typically look at used items we buy them and we resell them and that's what the bona fide hustler stuff is all about it's a celebration of over two decades of reselling cool stuff that i find from thrift stores garage sales yard sales flea markets pawn shops swap meets big box stores all that kind of stuff and i put it on places like ebay I put it on places like Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, my antique booth, and more. So anyway, that's what we're doing here. You can follow me at The Bonafide Hustler, and you can also get the free money-making guide. The first link down below, it'll teach you some items that you can start looking for that you can resell for more money. Okay, I'm going to try to get this story done. So the timeline of this exact uh, story starts on a Friday, a Friday morning, actually, okay? And on Friday mornings, I usually wake up, and if there are no garage sales to go see, I'll knock out my full body workout at a gym. Uh, before I go to the gym, I typically look at Facebook Marketplace for you know, things that I might wanna buy. Typically, it's gonna be something sporting goods related and maybe a bicycle, for example. Something that I might wanna buy and I can offer some low money on and then I can uh, you know, acquire it and resell it, right? Typically, when I buy a bike on Facebook, I will buy it and I will overview it and then I'll list it you know, four days later, maybe even seven days later or something like that but I try to just keep things going. And once a bike sells, I'm always trying to look for more things uh, on Facebook Marketplace specifically. It's a really good avenue to find some great used items. So if you're not using Facebook Marketplace to hunt for some really good deals, you should be. So this is Friday. This is before the gym. And I am about to go into the gym. I noticed this listing that has a bike. I'm gonna try to get all the pictures together. But like I said, um, it happened so fast. I even have a picture of the person that sold it to me. Like, that is the culprit, you know? But I'm not gonna put that here on this video, okay? This is not a video to like blast a person. So I find this bike. And it's a listing, and I believe it was listed for 180 or 200 bucks. It's a live women's hybrid bike, okay? What I noticed about this bike right off the bat was that um, the seat was really, really high. And the person that was selling it was a dude. So it's kind of weird, you know, a women's hybrid bike, the seat's super high on a small frame women's bike. It doesn't really make much sense, you know? Does it make sense? Like, you buy a small bike, the seat's going to be usually way down. Um, but this thing was jacked so far up, it was almost over the handlebars of the bike. So it looked kind of funky, and I was like, I don't know. I get to the gym. I'm through my workout. I hear a ding on my phone. My girlfriend, who also helps me look for bikes because anything she helps me with, we go get it. And if she's present in the car with me, I'll cut her in on the deal. That's what we have going on. So she sends me the same bike, and she goes, what about this? And I'm like, I don't know. It just seems kind of weird. I basically said, I don't think it's this guy's bike, okay, because the seat was all high and everything. I just don't think it's his bike. I don't know how he got it, but it seems it could it could be hot. That's what I said, meaning it could be stolen. But she's like, no, 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 it's a great bike. We should go check it out today. And we were gonna go thrifting anyway. And while I'm at the gym, by the way, I told her to offer the person a hundred bucks. Okay, so she offers a hundred bucks. The, the person gets back to her like, yeah, um, you know, oftentimes if we give a good solid offer with an accelerated timeline, like we can come get it today. A lot of times we can get some crazy deals. So yeah, um, he obviously gets back to her and says like, it's, you know, come get it, right? One o'clock today. So I get back at the house at 12 o'clock, get my smoothie, and off we go to go get this bike. Now, we meet this person in a parking lot of an apartment complex that's pretty nice. Um, and my girlfriend's like, oh, we're meeting him in his apartment complex. It's, you know, pretty pretty safe, you know, whatever. Okay, midday, Austin, Texas, too, right? In the center of downtown or off center of downtown, but in a nice posh place. So I get there. The guy comes out. He has a backpack on. Um, he's kind of decked out in construction gear, kind of, you know? Here comes the bike, and the seat is all the way up, and I'm like, ooh. And um, I can tell he's been riding the bike for sure, but it still doesn't make sense. Like, why would you have a women's bike when you could buy a men's bike and one that actually fits you? Um, but the bike was perfect. It was in great condition. Everything was like checked out and everything. So we gave him the hundred bucks and we took it home. Saturday comes along. Oftentimes on Saturday, if it's a nice day, I'll try to find myself at Barton Springs. So I'm sitting at Barton Springs. And one of the things I do at Barton Springs, since it's kind of far from my, well, not far from my house, but it's not exactly close to my house, is I'll oftentimes look at Facebook Marketplace so many times at Barton Springs to see if there's any good deals. And I didn't find any good deals, but one of the things that I do is I look at the lost and stolen 
Facebook page for Austin, Texas. I come across this post. The posting said, if anyone sees this bike, that's my bike. And here's the person that made the listing. And you know, the person is now like saying it's sold. And if anyone knows where this bike is, let me know. I immediately reply and I said, I think I might have your bike. Um, you know, let me know more about it. There were two defining characteristics about this bike. There was, and these are, I think her pictures right here. There was a rack on the back and there was a really interesting kind of kickstand that's not stock on the bike that was on the bike. So sure enough, she's like, that's my bike. And when I got home from the Springs, I was like, you know, we can make arrangements so you can come take a look and see if it really is your bike. Um, but with the two things that were like defining characteristics about this bike, um, you know, I was pretty positive it was gonna be hers. She comes over to the house Saturday evening. We tell her the story and she's like, that's definitely my bike. And we sell it to her back for a hundred dollars. So a happy ending, yes, but it's scary. You know, this bike was stolen from her front porch uh, that morning <laughs> on the Friday morning. And I ended up buying it at one o'clock on Friday, you know? Um, so that's kind of scary. It's just, it's so weird. And the guy's story was all falsified and everything was all completely bogus. What I also noticed about this bike, by the way, when he posted it, was that it had like a, you know, a, a picture of a gen, a lot of generic pictures. And then one final picture of the bike with the seat all the way up. But most of the generic pictures were of the giant live site where the bike was sold, you know, or whatever. And it shows you all the stats of the bike. And it's a real nice stock photo of the bike. There were a lot of those kind of photos. So that was another thing that kind of tripped me out. But, you know, here in Austin, Texas, I guess bike theft is a gigantic thing. And I have a video for you on the next one, or maybe the one after that, that is crazy. Okay, because I did get another stolen bike, but this one happened about eight months ago, maybe even a year ago. Um, and I have all the footage and everything. It's crazy. I'm like, oh my God, I have everything. It's stored in a folder and I'm going to edit it and show it to you. So you're going to see actual, actual footage of the people. Anyway, you'll see. When you're out there buying and reselling goods, especially if you deal with Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, or even pawn shops, yes, the likelihood of finding a stolen item will go up considerably. Is there anything you can do about it? No, but you can be in the know like I am. And I look at the lost and stolen stuff of Austin, Texas all the time before I post a bike that I might've uh, bought. Or even if I'm getting a sketch feeling about buying a bike, I will check that site to make sure it's not stolen first. Does that make sense? So yeah, we reunited the bike with the owner and she was so happy to get it back. We didn't make any money on the bike. We're not supposed to, that's just how it works, you know? I just wanna make sure that we did the right thing and we did. So yes, happy ending. And uh, you know, let me know what you think about the story. I'll see you on the next Bonafide Hustler video. Take it easy, goodbye.